What is up everybody? I hope you're doing good today and you are not getting tired of me. Two videos in two days. What? Mind blown, right? Now today is Sunday. I have a little extra time. So knowing me, what am I going to do? I'm going to put in work. I'm going to make another video for you guys. Hopefully with me putting in a little bit of work on my end for my personal gain, it'll be able to help one or two of you guys to become a little bit more financially independent. Welcome back everybody if you've been here before. If not, welcome. My name is Drake Pfizer with DSF Financial showing you guys the ATM business and how I'm making my money work for me through passive income. If you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification, leave a comment down at the bottom. Every little bit helps. One of my goals this year is to make more videos, more content for those of you out there that wanna learn a little bit more about finances and better themselves financially. I have another goal actually, it is to learn Spanish fluently, but that's for another video. Now, time is money, so let's get into this. All right, everybody. I know some of you guys are definitely financially conscious, and this one's for you. I myself am no different. I'm financially conscious about what I do and I try and live by it. I wanna go over three simple things that'll help you put a little extra money in your pocket and maybe have some savings to invest along the way. Now to start with number one, generally the first rule of finances is getting finances. You have to get a little bit of money and for that is finding a job. For a lot of you, you may not be able to get a second job a second full-time job because your life is too hectic. We all have craziness in our lives. We all have varying amounts of free time that we can spend on the extras in life. But there are simple ways to make a little extra money by working that maybe you haven't thought of, or maybe you have. I know for me being in management, some employees, they want all the hours they can get and some don't want any at all. Be that person that wants as many hours as, as they can get. The better your paycheck is gonna be, the more you'll be able to put into savings or pay off a bill that you've been wanting to pay off for a while. If you're offered overtime, work that overtime if you can. Sometimes you may even get to leave early, but don't do that. Don't leave early if you have the option. The more time you're at work, the more money you're making, the better you'll be. You may not have that extra two or three hours of overtime to pick up tomorrow, but you may need it. So get it while you can today. Now, sometimes you may need to pick up a side gig. Mow a lawn, look online, find somebody that needs their lawn mowed, make a couple dollars there. Uber, Lyft, Grubhub, those are all options to make a little extra money on the side for you. It just takes a little bit of effort. Put somebody's furniture together. I did that once. Heck, here in Texas, you could even be a farmhand. Install gutters, install somebody's fence, work for somebody in that aspect. There are many side jobs out there that you can pick up on the weekends when you're off from work that can help you get that little extra money in your pocket. For Susie and I, we did what it took. She did a side gig for South by Southwest one year. I put together people's furniture that I found on Craigslist to make that extra income to buy our first ATM. And we continue to do that now whenever possible. Even though we may not want to, we pick up those hours. I mean, just the other day, we bought our sixth brand new ATM. That one's going into the adult entertainment club that I talked about last week in this video. Check that out and look forward for a video on that one as well. Now for number two, credit cards. Get a credit card. Now, number two might confuse you a bit, but let me explain. With the right credit card, you simply have the world at your fingertips, quite literally. You can go anywhere you want, you can do what you want, just as long as you have that plastic, right? You have to use that plastic intelligently though. Now, the type of credit card I'm talking about is specifically the cash back credit cards that are out there. Susie and I, we have a couple cash back credit cards that we have that we use in our favor. Now, I started off with a Capital One credit card at 18. Just like I'm sure a lot of you out there, Capital One will approve just about anybody out there. Did you have a Capital One credit card as your first card? What did you have? Leave that comment down at the bottom. I'm curious to see what type of credit card companies people get for their first card. Now, with that first credit card that I had at 18, 
I set it at a $300 limit because I was not making any money or very much money at 18. And I had that limit set at 300, which was just fine for me. It allowed me to get my credit built up a little bit and allowed me to, to learn to budget with a credit card. Now, flash forward a couple years, I was approved for a credit card through Chase, the Sapphire Preferred card. It was a metal card. I was 21 years old. I was hot shit. A metal credit card at 21, handed it over to the bartenders and whatnot. It was pretty cool. But I got the credit card partly because it was cool, but a lot of it was because I got the benefits from it. For signing up, I got a $500 bonus if I spent a certain amount within the first 90 days. $500 just for spending on the credit card. After one year of having it, I was gonna be charged for that yearly fee. I said, hell no, I'm not paying a fee for a credit card. So I downgraded my Sapphire Preferred card and moved to the Sapphire card, which is no fee, but I was still able to get that $500. Now for the other credit card that we have, it's a category cashback credit card. It allows us to get extra cash back for different categories for every quarter throughout the year. This quarter is for gas, groceries, and online purchases, I think, um, which is pretty cool. Any of the purchases that we use on that credit card, we get an extra percentage back of cash back. Now, another card that we have, we get a flat rate cash back amount which we use that on all of our other purchases that don't fit into the categories for the category credit card. We're able to capitalize on whatever category we have or whatever purchase that we're doing to get the most cash back that we possibly can. Every month with our credit cards, we get anywhere from 30 to $50 back in cash back free money from the credit card company. And we usually cash that out about every six months, which is a pretty nice little chunk of change for us and we're able to use those funds generally as vacations for us. We're already going to be spending the money, so why not put it on a card and get the cash back for it? Now, you may say, heck, you're actually losing more money because we have to pay on interest for all of those charges, right? That's a good thing to think about, and we think about that ourselves. We don't pay a dime in interest. What we do, every time the bills do, we pay that thing off. We don't pay the entire credit card off. We pay just that statement balance. That allows us to not carry any interest and also allows us to have a balance on our credit card, which helps out our credit score. Now, there has been a couple times where things got in the way, the mind wandered, and I completely forgot to pay that credit card. Every now and again, that happens. What I do, I pick up the phone, I call that credit card company, I say, hey, I completely forgot to pay the balance. I don't mind paying it right now. Can I pay through you? Generally, because of our credit history, because we notoriously pay what we have to every single month, they waive any interest fees for us. All we had to do was ask them and they waive it. Out of probably the five times since I can remember that I've forgotten to pay the credit card payment on time, only one time they said no. Luckily, the interest was only like 15 bucks, I ate it. But generally, they're gonna waive that fee for you. If you want a little advice on what card to take, leave a comment down at the bottom, maybe with your email, hit me up on Instagram, right here, at drake.pfizer, and I'll definitely be gladly to help you decide what credit card is good for your situation. Now, number three, review what you're spending. Now, number three definitely sounds cliche, and really it is, but, it can really save you some money if you just review what you spend every month. It's pretty eye-opening when you take a look at all of the subscriptions that you have and the automatic payments that you may have. A lot of that stuff you may not even use. For me recently, we had HBO on our subscription, we had Showtime, Cinemax, all of them pretty much, uh, and we never used it. We had signed up, I guess, for a 90-day free trial, just never took it off the bill, and we were paying that for a couple months until we caught it. So review what you're spending. Try and cut subscriptions that you may not use anymore. We never really watched the regular cable, regular uh, TV, because of all the subscriptions that we have, all of the streaming services, Netflix and Hulu, all those. Uh, so we ended up taking out our cable. Saved us $140 a month. If you're not using something, cancel it. 
Review your insurance rates. Review your internet provider. Those rates can change every couple months. So what you signed up for a couple years ago may be a heck of a lot lower now. Just pick up the phone and call. If it's an option, look into refinancing your car or your house. If you've been on time religiously with your payments, your credit score is continuously climbing, then that can save you a bunch of money. You know, a little bit of time researching credit cards, researching what you spend your money on, it can allow you the freedom to save more, not live paycheck to paycheck, and maybe even invest a little to get some more money back and just overall be more financially comfortable. Once again, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. Hit that video over here if you want. For me, it's Sunday, but I'm grinding like it's Monday. You do the same. Until next time, later.